Today I won the award of worst mum in the world. Fox, do you want to tell them what happened this morning? My mum said that we have to go to school, but it was not open. We've had, what, like six, eight, many weeks of Christmas holidays, which we love. But Fox goes to preschool usually twice a week, and he loves it. He's one of those kids that, like, looks forward to preschool days. Anyway, I checked, like, the preschool app and, like, the newsletter. I was convinced that preschool started today, so we were hyping him up last night. We made his lunch. We got him ready. We packed his school bag. They walked all the way to preschool. It's not on. It starts next week. I feel really bad because like I said, we hyped him up. Kurt has been trying to stop him from C-R-Y-I-N-G all morning. To um, apologize, we're gonna do something fun today and what he's been asking to do for, oh my gosh, weeks is try those bean boozled jelly beans. I don't think I've ever tried them. You know, like this box here and you can either get like snot flavor or lime. That's what I've promised to do today. So we're gonna go on a hunt to try to find these bean boozled beans and give them a try. Let's go downstairs, boys. I'm gonna have a shower. I'll get ready for the day and then we'll go and I'll beg for your forgiveness with snot flavored jelly beans. I promise. Are you coming, Mocha? Okay, you can go get the big boozle. You can go eat them too. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of stairs to go down here. You got the hiccups. Hello, Mumu. Are we playing hide and seek? No. Shh, hide, 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 hide. Cover your eyes. <sighs> Good hiding. Mally! <laughs> Boo! Oh, you want to say hi? Say hey, guys. <laughs> I was saying to one of my friends the other day, I feel like the boys are at such a beautiful age where it's just gotten easy. Touch wood. <laughs> For me, I love toddler season. Fox is almost five, Malachi is two. And as you guys know, we are trying for another baby. This will be, I think this is our fourth month trying. Prior to this month, I pretty much know when I ovulate. Like I have really obvious symptoms. I get ovulation pains or like cramps. My discharge changes, my libido changes. Like I'm very obvious when I ovulate. But this month, I feel like because, I don't know, I was just really busy and I think I've missed my ovulation. I don't know. One of my previous vlogs, Maybe I'll link it below. I talked about us trying to have a baby or like our approach in trying to get pregnant. So if you haven't watched that vlog, watch that one. I'm just gonna assume knowledge here that we've all heard me chat about that section. So as you know, we have been really casual in trying to conceive. However, it's our fourth month now trying, which for some people is nothing. Like I know people have tried for years. Again, I talk about that and reference that in my previous vlog. So just stay with me. But for us, because we conceived Malachi on the first try from going from like first try baby to the fourth month it's something we've never experienced before i'm like finding myself really wanting it more and more i think just being the female in this situation with like the two week wait knowing your symptoms and like feeling everything in your body and like overthinking is this my period coming is this pregnancy like honestly every month that we've tried i have been convinced I've been pregnant, but I am pretty sure this month that we're like not even in with a chance because we didn't try last week and I'm pretty sure that's when I ovulated. So it's okay. But yeah, just keeping you guys in the loop. I, I feel like my platform at the moment is like really kind and a really safe space Mom, to so share fast. this. Anyway, all I want to say is I feel like my old self would have really shied away from this conversation. I've been through a lot of seasons of YouTube where I was like, when I first started YouTube, I was super vulnerable, super open, super raw. And then the internet went through this really crazy phase of like being really intense <laughs> so I pulled Aww. back a lot and I didn't share a lot but anyway I'm feeling like I've kind of come from a circle mommy, 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 where mommy. I want to share a lot again it feels nice to like bring you along on this journey and just feel really open and vulnerable about what we're going through at the moment so it's fine and like I'm not stressed about it but I don't know like when you decide you want to have another baby it's like hard for it not to consume your thoughts you know but obviously I know this is such a sensitive topic, which I completely respect and understand. So I just tread carefully when I ever talk about like fertility or us trying for a baby, because I know that we are so blessed to even be in a position to be trying and know that we've been pregnant before. And I just, I feel so grateful that I have no reason to doubt it at the moment, you know? So yeah, I just never want to be insensitive to anyone that is trying and struggling because I know it is such a deeply personal experience and situation. And I never want to say anything to upset anyone or anyone because yeah 
Bye. Bye. I know I'm getting I'm getting ready, guys. You can't talk anymore. It's Sorry, guys. I can't talk and get ready. We'll, I'll see you when I'm ready. Bye. Super quick extension update. I'm they're very dirty at the moment and they have sweat from the gym. But oh my gosh, if you are late to the party, my last video, you would have seen me get these keratin yes. bonds. I feel like I'm back to myself. Yes. Okay, because I'm being hustled by my children. Don't hate me. I'm doing a slick bun, but I'm on a time crunch, okay? All I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of this Ilia brow gel on. Just a little bit of blush. Westman Atelier in Chochet, Cochet, Chochet. Honestly, that's gonna be it. The boys are getting reckless and grumpy, so we need to leave. Now, Malachi, does your dad know that this is a pajama shirt? Yeah. Does he? Malachi, do you want me to change your shirt or you wanna wear a pajama shirt out? Do you wanna wear this out? Yes. You happy with this? Yes. You like it? All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right, let's go. No, that's not them. Should we go ask? Oh, oh. Fox, being boozled. This oh. is it. Oh. Ooh, liver and onions or cappuccino, rotten egg, vomit, boogers, stinky socks, old band-aid, stink bug, dishwasher, toothpaste, Ooh. dead fish. Should we get them? Oh. Yeah. Okay, welcome to the Bean Boozled Challenge. I know a lot of you guys are in a similar season to me with young kids, so if you wanna get your kids to watch this scene, I think it would be really fun for them. On the back here, it has all these different colors. You might get a brown one and it could either be yummy chocolate or it tastes like dog poo. Do you have your water? Yes, I do. Cheers. May the best man win. If it's a gross one, try and swallow it, but if not, this is like, if you really need to spit it. Okay. Are you going first? I'm going first. Show the camera what colour. That's either vomit or peach. Like peach. <laughs> okay, this is either stinky socks or tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. Okay, you're doing vomit or peach. Peach. Rotten egg or popcorn. <laughs> Popcorn. Dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie? <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, that's yuck. Let me smell that one. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is full dead fish. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty dishwasher or birthday cake? What did you like? This is actually messed up. Who creates this flavor profile of dead fish and dirty dishwasher? You know when like you open your dishwasher and you're like, well, I need to clean that? It's your so turn. Okay, that name? is either old bandage or pomegranate. Pomegranate. Oh, pomegranate, good one. Stink bug. <laughs> why did I, why did I agree to this? Stink bug or toasted marshmallow. Cheers. <laughs> no, that is that's mess. Smell that. <coughs> oh, nah, I don't think I can play this game. I want to try all of them. Okay, this one's either vomit or peach. Okay. Peach. Again! Stink bug or toasted marshmallow? Dang. I bet you it's marshmallow. <laughs> I'm here for this reaction. No, that's messed up. Stink bug is. Why was it still in your mouth? <laughs> Get a good one to wash it down. Get a good one. Dead fish or strawberry smoothie? <laughs> I need more. Okay, well, you pick a color. <laughs> Do you like this game? I. <laughs> Final one. Final one. Okay, this is the last one. Rotten egg or popcorn? <sighs> In closing, you like this game? Yes. Would you recommend it to the other kids who are watching YouTube? Yes. On to the next activity of the day. Do it now. Some more. No, I'm done. I'm done. No, 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 no. No, I'm done, 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 done. done. While Malachi is asleep, I am going to make dinner. So, what am I gonna make for dinner? Mince, garlic, 
onions. And that's gonna do us for now. Cast iron pan on the heat. So my objective for tonight's dinner, my boys love lasagna and like, don't get me wrong. I love making a homemade lasagna, but I just don't. I don't really have the time today. I mean, I do, but I just don't feel like having that time. Okay. And I don't want to wash up that many components. So I've really been loving recipe developing again and like coming up with some new quick one pot dinners. So I kind of just want to make up a one pot lasagna, which some people would say that's called pasta. You're wrong because I'm going to use pasta the sheets. Honestly, we're just going to make it up as we go. That is how I like to cook. So we're just going to do the basics of a classic bolognese sauce. That's enough onion. We're going to do one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Four cloves of garlic. I've just realized I don't have any tomato paste. So this is truly going to be a what's in my kitchen one pot dinner. Well, two pots, two pot dinner. Every now and then I catch myself doing like such mum things. Like it's giving mum and this is one of them. Keep your dirty tin because there's still remnants in that, right? I'm gonna do like a tablespoon of bone broth. This one is a lemon and herb one. Cup of hot water. I get it all out. Add that. Like, was that not the most mum thing you've ever seen? Okay, I'm gonna leave this to reduce a little bit, thicken up. I've never done this before. I'm kind of just like winging it, making it up with whatever I have in the fridge. I don't think it's gonna be a resounding fail. Like, really, how much can you fail a one pot lasagna? But I definitely will have some tweaks after this one. Okay, I already know where I kind of went wrong. Well, I don't know why I sauteed everything in this fry pan when I know I'm gonna transfer it to this for a final oven cook to like crisp up any cheese I put on top. I, why would I? Why would I dirty two? Like I hate washing up hate like why would i not think like do it all in this anyway do what i say not do what i do if you're gonna replicate this recipe start it in some kind of dutch oven crock pot type thing that you can put in the oven i can put this in the oven but i don't want to so we're gonna transfer yeah amazing amazing i'm gonna throw a whole planet of cherry tomatoes straight in there fresh pasta sheets and i'm just gonna chop them up like guys i'm totally making this up but again how wrong can it go am i a glass half full person or am i foolish you tell me if you hadn't done the fry pan mistake i made there is literally no washing up so far all right we're gonna do one two three four sheets and i'm just gonna cut them into like rectangles is this so therapeutic to anyone else ready Let's just submerge these in. Honestly, it doesn't really matter where it goes and you could do this with any pasta. I'm just trying to give it the feeling of a deconstructed one pot lasagna. Before I put a cover on that to let it soften and soak up all the beautiful flavors, I think we do some sneaky parmesan. We go through a block of this baby frequently. I actually still get a lot of questions. Aren't you gluten-free and dairy-free? Guys, guys, I started this channel gluten-free, dairy-free for sure. My pregnancies literally changed my life, changed my digestion, my perception of body image, my perception of myself, my relationship with my body. It's really pregnancy was the best thing that ever happened to me. For some people like myself, it like recalibrates or like resets your digestion. And I was able to eat gluten. Maybe like a year after that, I started eating dairy again because I was fine with dairy. I'm not really into dairy, said cheese. I love cheese. All right, maybe I'm just gonna turn that off the heat for a little bit because it's not even four o'clock, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna leave that there for a little bit. Is that salmonella? I don't reckon. I reckon it's right. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's all right. For now, for now. What are you drawing? A bee. A bee? Yes. <laughs> a bee. Oh. Come on. What is it? Get my backpack. 
ketchup. Yeah, go get you some more ketchup. What did you get? <gasps> I got a fly. I got a fly. What's its name? Malachi. <laughs> Malachi the fly. What did you get? A moth. What are you going to call it? Malachi. I called it my last one, Malachi. How do you feel about that, Mally? Mine. It's your moth now, is it? Yeah. He's going to be my pet. Your pet moth. I'm not going to lie, it's that time of the day that I'm just waiting for Kurt to get home. <laughs> it's 5.30 and we usually eat at 5.30 so I'm really hungry. Malachi, are you hungry? Yeah. Same. Malachi's, yeah. Malachi's hungry. It's also the time of the day that I feel like all parents just like get tired. I don't want to say I'm counting down the hours to bedtime and like waiting for my kids to go to sleep because they are my best friends in the world. They make me so happy. But I'm counting down the hours until they go to sleep. And then I've just been sitting here thinking about like ovulation. I know I briefly spoke about this this morning, but like, I know just like sitting here watching the boys play, I've just been like thinking about it. And a lot of my friends are trying at the same time as well. So we're all in this season of like, you know, knowing when we're ovulating and like messaging each other when we get to test and like we're all in it together, which is really fun. But also we're like, we're all consumed. <laughs> We're all consumed by it. Every single time I talk about this topic, I just reiterate that I don't want this to be a stressful experience for us because I have no reason to think like that at the moment, you know? Like, who knows how long it took us to conceive Fox because he was a love baby. But Malachi, we got him on the first try. So I'm like, I don't want to overthink it. Like, it's all in God's plan. I truly believe that. I've really been praying that God has his hand on this pregnancy and allows us to get pregnant when it is right for our life. Because I feel like there's so many times that like you think you want something and you want it so bad and then you look back and you're like, wow, God so had his hand on that. Anyway, I'm just rambling now and just chatting to you like I would my sister because they're my favorite type of vlogs honestly and I feel like I used to do that oh my gosh every three days back when I started my channel and then like I said the internet got very intense which it's still intense but like it simmered down a little bit I don't know I just want to be more vulnerable with you guys I guess and like really take you along on what I'm going through week by week and I just I'm really enjoying vlogging at the moment so let's go inside everybody whose name ends in tilts time to go <laughs> How many people are having dinner? One, two, three, four, five. Five? Mum, Dad, Fox, Malachi? Abby. Oh. <gasps> Do you think Dad will be home soon? Yeah. Well, it's six, so I hope so. Oh, you're not gonna have a daddy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, Mummy's tired. Fresh basil. Freezer with ice on it just to cool it down a little bit. Verdicts. Fox is devastated, but it's not lasagna. Malachi's loving it. Thank you so much. My first test at one pot lasagna. It's good. So good. But I want to make it great, like salivating. You're craving it. It needs some kind of white sauce element. Otherwise, it's just like bolognese. Tell the camera what we're trying to do. We're trying to get. I'm trying to get dad to try now. <laughs> yeah, no pocket. Oh, yeah, so this is either peach or vomit. Oh, vomit. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. I hate vomit, it's gonna make me throw up. <laughs> it tastes like vomit. Fish. <laughs> There's like a sweetness to it. I think that one's dead fish or banana smoothie. <laughs> it must be the one, you'll know if it's dead fish. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Bad one so far. But that one's either toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Surely you'll get a marshmallow. I believe you can do it. Yeah, we believe in you. You can believe in me. How messed up is that? Oh, oh. <laughs> How did they come up with that flavor? I don't know, crazy. We're spiraling. Wait, wait, stop giving them to him. Wait, we need to assess. What was that one? It might be stink bug. It, it was stink bug. That, yeah, chop that out. Yucky. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in mouth. One. No, no, you can't have the other one. Blue one. Is that boogers or is that pear? Pear. Pear. 